Hello everybody, this is a case of pseudophagic bullous keratopathy post anterior chamber IOL. The first step is to remove the edematous epithelium to enhance visualization. This is followed by creating three power synthesis and then performing the main incision. It was noted that the anterior chamber IOL is adherent at the angle with overgrowth of iris tissue over the haptics. So amputation of the haptics was done to allow explantation without injury to the iris. First, the distal haptic is amputated, followed by amputation of the proximal haptic. This is followed by smooth explantation of the IOL. Opening the ciliary sac sulcus is then attempted by injecting viscoelastic, followed by plant dissection. It is to be noted that plant dissection should be gentle to avoid iridodialysis or losing the capsular support. So if gentle plant dissection was not successful in opening the ciliary sulcus, cutting the adhesion is done using a micro scissors. Many cases of post ACIOL corneal decompensation has good capsular support and usually a PMMA lens can be fitted safely in the silk ciliary sulcus after proper anterior vitrectomy. Now the PMMA lens is implanted in the ciliary sulcus. This is followed by pupilloplasty to try to regularize the shape of the pupil. The technique of single pass for serous pupilloplasty is done by introducing the needle through the paracentesis, then the iris tissue and retrieving it from the main incision by the aid of 25 grayish cannula. A loop of the proximal part of the suture is pulled to the opposite side to rest on the conjunctiva, beside the free end of the 10-0 proline. The free part of the thread is passed through the loop four to five times Pulling the two ends of the thread will bring the two edges of the iris together in a trial to get acceptable size and shape of the pupil. Inferior peripheral iridectomy is then done. Then a spatula is introduced under the iris to confirm the creation of a full thickness opening. More anterior vitrectomy is done to create a clear any vitreous remnants from the anterior chamber followed by partial wound closure and complete anterior chamber fill with air. Now the steps of the MAC will start by scoring the diseased endothelial desmet membrane under air. Stripping of the diseased desmet membrane is then completed using a reversed Seneski hook. Now the eye is ready to receive the DMAC graft which is injected using the glass pipette. The glass pipette should be introduced completely inside the anterior chamber and injection is done slowly to keep the proper orientation of the graft. Luckily the graft was injected in the proper orientation. This is confirmed by introducing a spatula inside the scroll. Now the right side of the graft is still folded and the left half is unfolded. Gentle tapping on the corneal surface was effective in completing the process of unfolding. Finally, air is injected under the graft, followed by closure of the remaining part of the incision. Thank you for watching the video and this is a slit lamp photo of the case one month following the surgery with a visual acuity of 0.5.